All right, class. So today's discussion post is on the uh, contracts. And so essentially contracts are a means of filling in gaps and the necessary expertise that a project team would otherwise be lacking in. A good example of this would be where a team may be proficient or even like well-renowned for conducting like threat and vulnerability assessments on a physical infrastructure, but they may need to hire outside construction experts in order to determine best practices that could be used to enhance different security measures. When it comes to contract breach, it's essentially a failure to perform material obligations that are previously agreed upon prior to the contract going into effect. And there's different types or levels of uh, contract breaches. There's the material breaches, minor breaches, anticipatory breaches, and the actual breaches, according to Boyer 2021. Now, with material breaches, he was talking about contract results and significantly different results than what was agreed upon. Minor or, uh, contract breaches are similar to the material ones, but they're on a smaller scale than material breaches. They will result in changes, but they might not be as significant or detrimental than what was agreed upon. Anticipatory breaches are those that have not yet taken place. But he described them as based on available information that's taking place and like benchmarking and whatnot. It looks like the uh, outset or the result of the contract will not be what was initially agreed upon. And then we have actual blatant breaches of the contract where certain rules are in place where the contracted agency is not following the rules. Remedies to breaches include a few different things, um, but they're essentially what they would sound like. Uh, resolutions, which are often court-ordered resolutions. You can undertake um, measures to compensate for the breach of the actual, um, based on the contracted terms. Remedies could be financial related in that way. They could be punitive in nature, but that is, from what I found, one of the least uh, common means of um, remedying a breach. Typically what they'll try to do is just simply void the contract so that neither party is obligated to uh, fulfill their obligations. Um, when it comes to stages of contract development, Piscina um, 2023, she wrote seven different stages, which I thought was a very keen way of um, identifying how to develop contracts. Identifying the parties involved would be the first and most important aspect of it, as well as what roles each party is expected to contribute towards the project. Uh, determine the purpose behind the contract. What are we trying to fulfill? Outline the terms of the agreement. And then there you'll find things like, you know, benchmarks that have to be met. Um, possibly like financial incentives in terms of like if a project's done ahead of time. Those types of things. You'll always want to make sure that you're using clear, concise, very specific language to make it where there's no wiggle room in the event that it does get involved with legal. And that's where one of the steps she talked about was um, ensuring that you do have legal assistance in reviewing the terms of the contract. And then, of course, the last step that you would do would be finalizing the contract, making sure both parties agree on it or any party involved in case there's more than two. And then just adhering to the terms of the contract. So that's my video discussion for this week. I wish everybody the best. Thank you.